And welcome back to ABC 15 Mornings. We have uh, changed locations. We're over here in what we call <laughs> Studio A. Right. And as it warms up, as Iris has been telling you yes. about in breaking records, not mm -hmm. even not even necessary for that, uh, those creepy, crawly yeah. um, guests I mean, begin we have to show some, up. Yeah, thankfully they're behind glass here yeah, this right? morning. Nate Deason, though, not behind glass. <laughs> Thanks for being here with us. No with problem. the Phoenix Herpetological Society. Um, who did you bring here, first of all? Uh, these are the two most common snakes that we would find in the valley here. Mm -hmm. We have a gopher snake on the left side. Uh -huh. That is harmless for all intents and purposes. It okay. does have teeth. Anything with a mouth could bite you, but no venom whatsoever. Okay, it's big. Um, right, and those are called bull snakes as a nickname a okay. lot of times. Oh, so if yeah, you hear okay. somebody say, oh, I found a bull snake, this okay. is what they're talking oh, about. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, okay. Very, very often this snake is actually mis misread as a rattlesnake. If you look at the pattern on his back there, mm -hmm. you know, somewhat diamond-like, mm -hmm. okay? And they can actually do a mimicking display to try and appear like this guy yes. for whatever predators are Flicking trying to bother Flicking their tail on the, on the ground. Yeah, Flicking they, their tail, yeah. hissing oh. really loudly, that type of thing. Wow, interesting. Exactly. Now, uh, Nate, Next as we him, look at the, yeah. uh, the rattlesnake there, and as, our, as we're getting a closer image there of it, his rattle is uh, shaking. He's quite angry. What should our viewers do if I encounter a snake like either one of these, any snake that I'm concerned of, say, on a trail or even in the backyard? What do I need to know? Um, first thing is, as hard as it may be, try not to panic. Um, <laughs> you don't need to run around or, or jump and go crazy. The, uh, the best thing that you can do, stay calm and just keep your distance. There's all sorts of things out there that you'll hear that they chase you, that mm -hmm. they attack you, that they'll jump at you, okay? Uh, kind of hard for them to jump when they don't have legs. That's something that I've sure. always said. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> you know, they're, they're not going to chase you. They're not going to attack you. That's very, very far from what they would actually be doing. They're very shy, nervous creatures in nature. Um, hopefully they give you that warning with that rattle so you okay. can locate where they are. Uh, but then at that point, take a slow step backwards, go the other way, and then call the authorities and have somebody come and remove it. And you. they don't always warn you. So key, not to stick your hands or legs in places you can't see, right? Exactly. It's okay. pretty much impossible for you guys to get bit if you're always watching what you're doing. That, that's our job as you know, uh, right. residents here in the desert is just to make sure that we're not putting our hands and feet in places where we can't see. And Nate, unfortunately, uh, we're out of time, but I wanted to, to give us that stat again that you have found a snake. I, I've actually found uh, rattlesnakes in every single month of the year here in yeah. Arizona. So even oh, though the geez. temperatures might dip down a little bit, yeah. it's always possible. So always keep your eyes open. All, All right. right. Thank Nate Deason Nate. from no the uh, Phoenix it. Herpetological Society, a great mm -hmm. organization, by the way. So thank you for everything that you thank do you and help much. educating all of us this morning. You're watching ABC 15 Mornings. We'll be right back.